Hey, it's Rob here again, and in this video, I want to show you how to connect a custom domain to your ClickFunnels 2.0 account, and also how to do some of your important site settings so that when you're using um, social media to share your sites, you're getting all the information you need in terms of SEO and stuff. So let's jump into it right away. This is the ClickFunnels 2.0 um, dashboard. So what we want to do is come into site and funnels on the left hand side once you're logged in. And here you'll see your main site. Um, I'll cover this in another video, how we build this, if you haven't done so already. But basically, you just go inside, um, create a new theme or import a theme, edit the theme, and then you can actually apply that. Um, but what you need to do, and what some people were having trouble with, was actually getting your custom domain to link to the, uh, the this actual site. So what we'll do is we go into this, in this area here, you've got three dots, we'll click on those three dots and click on site settings. That will bring up this window here. So when you come into this window, you'll go to the section that says domain and any domains you've either purchased from within ClickFunnels 2.0 or external domains you've added yourself, they'll be listed here. So simply just click on the domain that you want your site to appear on and then click update site up here and then that will now point your domain to the site now if you haven't seen my video uh the previous video in the series where i show you how to buy the domain through click funnels um go and check that out if it's something that you you're interested in doing it's probably the quickest and easiest way if you're going to be using a new domain with click funnels it's so much easier just to buy it straight from within because it does all of the dns setup and that sort of stuff um, for you so you don't have to do any of that so check out that video you might find it useful now while we're in this site settings section this is where you also control all of the social sharing and the title of your website all that sort of stuff so right at the top here you've got the site title so this is the part that appears um, up in the address bar on the back on the browser so you've got your favicon and then you've got this section next to it so that's just your site title uh, you've got the site favicon here, which you can upload. It gives you a guidance on size, 512 pixels square. You've got your site header logo, so you can just click change image, upload your image, and away you go. You can choose your language, your time zone. You can choose whether the site is public or private. Now, in the previous version of ClickFunnels, um, everything was public as soon as you published it. Now, if you want your site to be worked on behind the scenes and you don't want it to go live straight away, you can choose to have it in private mode where only yourself or if you've got any contributors that you've added to um, to you to actually be able to grant access to work on your site, they can also see it as well. Um, that's one of the great things actually about ClickFunnels 2.0 is the way that you can grant access to specific areas of your site. So I'll be making another video on that one soon. So look out for that one. So as we carry on down, You've got also this section here where you can put uh, information in your head code. So whether you've got any kind of Facebook pixel, anything, or any kind of analytics, any kind of plugins, anything like that you need to do through the head code of the website, you can pop that in here. Same with footer code. You've got some more advanced settings here, um, which we can look at in another video. I'm not going to cover those in this one. The main one I want to talk about is down here, SEO and sharing. This is a really important section because if you're sharing your url for your website on twitter or facebook or any kind of social media when you put in a um, your link your url link you'll get an image pop up and some details about your website now if you don't specify that it will be a random image from somewhere on your site it might be your logo and it might come up huge it might look it might look terrible because it might only be a part of your logo showing so the way to control that is with uh, an og image which stands for open graph you can put that image in here so you can change the image you can add the image in there and whenever that link to your site is shared that image is what pops up as the preview so you can control what people see uh, the first thing they see when when you share that link now also you've got the page title which shows up again when you show the link on social media and also the page description. And if you look up here, this section here, it gives you the preview of, of what it's going to look like. So you have your, uh, whatever the page title is up here in large, the larger font. Then you obviously have a URL underneath, and then you can have the page description, which you can put in here. And you've got a certain number of characters you can use. 
and this is brilliant because you can see it right in front of you as you're updating it so once you've made all these changes um, you just click update site and you're good to go so then whenever you share your website on social media um, you're, you've got complete control over what is shown um, and what people say about your business the first impression always counts as they say and always remember to update site whenever you change anything in here and again just select your domain from this list click update site and that is the domain that will point towards your your site okay that's it for this video uh, hopefully that helps you with uh, getting your site up and running and getting it all ready for social media if there's anything you want to know about clickfunnels 2.0 anything else you want covered let me know in the comments below and i'll try and make a video covering it if you haven't used clickfunnels yet uh, or maybe you've got the old version or perhaps you're completely new to funnel building check out my link in the description and the comments i've got a really awesome uh, bonus package for clickfunnels 2.0 including a 30-day free trial plus loads of training on how to actually uh, use it um, to, to really set up a really good business online. Um, so hopefully you'll find that really useful. Go and check it out. It is one of the best bonuses around at the moment. And I can't see anyone beating it, to be honest. So go and have a look, um, get involved. And if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Doing all of that good stuff helps me get these videos in front of more people like yourself who hopefully find them useful. So all that left is left for me to say is thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.